great and welcome back. Uh, here we're going to look at how to calculate uh, point estimates of population means and point estimates of population standard deviation. So here we're just going to start with a simple random sample. We have a sample of five, uh, six elements. Uh, what is a point estimate of the population mean? So our point estimate here, this is just, uh, we denote this by x bar, and this is simply adding up all of the observations and dividing by the total number of observations that we have. So in this exercise, this is going to be 4 plus 8 plus 3 plus 9 plus 13 plus 14 divided by, I have 6. So our point estimate of that population mean is simply 4 plus 8 plus 3 plus 9 plus 13 plus 14. 51 divided by 6, so 8.5. 8.5 would be my best guess, my best point estimate uh, of the population mean. Uh, the point estimate of the population standard deviation, so this calculation can be a little bit more tedious, as a little bit more lengthy. Uh, this is going to be the square root of these squared deviations, so we look at these deviations from the mean we square them, we add those all together, and here we divide by n minus 1. So this formula sometimes can look a little bit tedious. This is i equals 1 through n. Um, but it's it's really not too bad. Uh, it's, it's just a shorthand way of writing something that is otherwise quite lengthy. And the more observations we have, the longer this calculation becomes. So I'm going to write it out. Uh, in its entirety, just so you have some idea of exactly what it is we're, we're working with. So here you can see that we need to have uh, this point estimate of the mean uh, for this calculation. So that's what we've already got. We'll put that right into that formula. So what, I, what we need to do here is the first thing we have to do is calculate all of these deviations. So that's individual observations. So this is starting here. This is 4 minus that x bar, our point estimate of the mean, so it's 4 minus 8.5 squared. And we're taking all of the squared deviations and adding them up. So then this is going to be plus. The next observation is 8 minus 8.5 squared plus the next observation is 3 minus 8.5 squared plus 9 minus 8.5 squared plus 13 minus 8.5 squared plus 14 minus 8.5 squared. So there we have all of the squared deviations from the mean. We then divide that by n minus 1. So n here was, we have 6 observations, which is what we used in this calculation here. 6 minus 1, and then we take the square root of all of that. So as you can see, the the formula that you see in your book and, and your notes and your instructor slides, it's, it's a very sh shorthand way of writing what can otherwise be a very lengthy uh, calculation. Specifically, you know, as you have more and more and more observations, six is probably a lot to have to work with in class. Usually when you're working on these types of problems, uh, the, the questions are usually using relatively small sample sizes just to make these calculations uh, as straightforward as possible. So I'm going to go through this again. I'm going to do this the long way uh, just to uh, make sure that you can follow exactly what it is I'm doing here. So I'm going to start with that first deviation. So this is 4 minus 8.5. Oops, something went horribly wrong there. 4 minus 8.5. So that's minus 4 and a half squared. So 2 and a quarter. Oops. So this first one uh, it's 20 and a quarter, I think, right? Not 2 and a quarter. 20 and a quarter, okay? And then the next one, 8 minus 8.5 squared. That can't be right. <laughs> 8 minus 8.5 and square that. There we go. That's 0.25 plus 
3 minus 8.5 squared 30 and a quarter. Okay, this should be a little bit tedious here. 9 minus 8.5 squared. Uh, just two more to go. 13 minus 8.5, so 20 and a quarter. And lastly, oops, 14 minus 8.5, 30 and a quarter. Okay. So now we have all of the deviations squared. We'll add all of those up and we divide by 6 minus 1 and we'll square root all of that. So now here this is going to be equal to, where did my calculator go here? Uh, okay, oops, whoa, too big. 20.25 plus 0.25 plus 30.25 plus 0.25 plus 20 and a quarter plus, what was this last one, 30 and a quarter. Equals, so that's 101.5 divided by six minus one, so divided by five equals, so that's 35 and a quarter. And I still haven't taken the square root yet. And now we take the square root and that's 5.93. So there's our final answer, 5.93. Okay, so the calculating point estimates are the means, uh, generally straightforward. We've done some of these calculations uh, in, in earlier exercises in, in the series of videos. Uh, calculating standard deviations uses that point estimate of the mean. Um, and these calculations, for the most part, the only time I see errors on these types of calculations are just rushing through the button presses on a calculator. You know, they're, they're just subtractions and squares and, and adding things together, but they can be long and they can be tedious. Uh, and it's because of that that uh, it's really important that you just take your time uh, and, and make sure that you are press the buttons on your calculator cautiously. It can be helpful to do intermediate steps like this. Um, otherwise, you know, sometimes students will try to enter this whole big thing in on their calculator all in one big stream with a whole bunch of brackets and then they just press enter or, or equals at the end. Uh, and sometimes that'll work, but you leave yourself open to uh, error and it would be really hard to be able to trace the error back. Uh, if not impossible, trace it back to, to um, its origin. So I'd encourage you to take your time, write out intermediate steps, uh, and then uh, hopefully it'll go uh, smoothly for you. Okay, good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.